as we take a look at the 2012 Hot Wheels year in review, here we have the Rodzilla. Now the Rodzilla, it was a, a special release. It was a special year of the Dragon Edition. If you notice, it doesn't have the collector number here like all the other cars did for the year. So it was a special release, not part of any series. I know there's a lot of Rodzilla collectors. Been around for hmm, probably 20 years. I'll have to look in just a second. But on the back of the package, you see right here, it says uh, this Hot Wheels Special Edition celebrates 2012, the year of the dragon. The dragon is often associated with new beginnings and good fortune for all. So how many of you guys uh, like seeing this one? Uh, you know, the first people finding it, of course, were saying, Oh, it's a treasure hunt, it's a treasure hunt. And, uh, you know, because of uh, it saying it was a special edition. How many of you guys picked it up? I only seen it one per case, and that's another reason why some people thought that it was a treasure hunt. Because it was uh, one per case. Oh, yeah, and by the way, look, it's got the temple up on the side as well. So now there were two special releases in the 2012 lineup. The other one was the uh, Dan Weldon DW1 piece. Now D this DW1 piece, it was part of the, uh, let me see here. It was basically a recolor of the uh, 2011 IndyCar Oval. Because you see right here, it's going to be hard, it's yellow. She's got collector number 47, oh, 42, sorry, 42, 42, 42. So basically it wound up being like a, a recolor of the uh, new models in the car. And in case you're wondering, the uh, DW1 had a plastic base, white one was first, had a metal base, and then the black one was second, first, second, third, that's my recollection, Metal, plastic base, plastic base. So while the uh, Dan Weldon piece was a uh, special release, just like the um, Rodzilla, this one was actually part of the lineup because it had a collector number. I'll let you pause that if you want to read it. Now see, they called it DW1. I don't even know if it's on the base. Nope. But um, this one was a new model recolor. This one was a special edition and uh, was not part of any uh, collector number, not part of any series. So this one gets its own special place for the 2012 lineup. Now while I have this here, and since it gets this uh, video all by itself, we'll go ahead and take a look. Now see, this is why I, I say it's kind of got a place in uh, collector's hearts because it's been around a long time. It's kind of like Shark Cruiser to where, you know, yeah, it's a silly car, but there's, there's collectors who've been collecting a long time and they like it. So here we have a blue card. Remember I talked to you about blue cards. If it's all blue, this is the blue card number 156. And uh, this one's actually on the Speed Points card as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is a 1990 right here in the corner. 1990. Take a look at that one. Now, kids love this car too. Now, I got this one. This is from the Virtual Collection. It's probably 2002, sometime around that time. Nope, 2000. Collector number 126. And this one here, you see, it's got the uh, yellowing blister. For uh, whatever reason, there was a, a lot of releases that had this uh, yellowing blister. And uh, it's wi w widely believed that it's just because a bad batch of plastic doesn't necessarily have anything to do with heat. Um, just a bad batch of plastic that wound up aging. Because sometimes you'll have this car with a good one, a blister. Sometimes you have one in a bad blister. And they're in the, you know, when you keep them at home, they're in the same case. So how come one and not the other? So it's just a bad batch of plastic. But I want to go ahead and open up this one. And this is why kids, oh shoot, green background, that didn't work out too good, did it? This is why kids like it. For one, it's a dragon. Secondly, it's got this uh, rotating head. Uh, 
and when the kids like to race it they can put it this way or they can put it this way when they play with it it's not a booster car but you could put it on the downhill you don't want to put anything in the boosters right where the wheel sticks out by itself so there's a there's a look at the uh, Rodzilla and while we're on the subject of cars being released without collector numbers right no collector number Let's go ahead and take a look at some releases that have happened in the past where there was no collector number. In 2001, Sam's Club, they're like a uh, bulk warehouse. They had uh, these two cars. They had the uh, Shoebox and the Diora 2. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Definitely uh, two nice releases. Got some uh, cool boards on top. The flames are uh, okay. Nicely done. But the shoebox definitely much sweeter than the uh, Diora, even though there's a lot of fans of the Diora 2. Um, this one just got a nicer paint job. So this one, the same thing, no collector number. And that's because I believe it was part of a 20 pack at Sam's Club. It was 20 cars, and then uh, this one was one of the 20 cars. You got one, they won't, both wouldn't be in there at the same time. And then, uh, Costco, which is similar to Sam's Club, had 20 packs. So, in the 20 packs, you would either get the Cabin Fever or you get the Vulture. And I'd have to say that uh, Sam's Club got the uh, better end of the deal on this one. While these are de these are definitely you know there are fans who like these two releases, the uh, the other two were, in my opinion, more nicely done. And uh, last up, I have these two here. Um, and this even makes it worse for collectors because they say, hey, no collector number. What happened? It's an error. Must be special. Well, they just blotted it out because during this time period, hey, Highway 35. During this time period, uh, they would put the collector number right here on the package. So we have the uh, So Fast and we have the Fandango. These were with, uh, they would have three cars in a collector booklet, booklet. so there would be like uh, either this one or this one, but it'd have this car and then two other cars, and then right here there'd be a collector booklet, like a flip book for you to see uh, different upcoming Hot Wheels products. That's my real collection. Uh, just like there was a Batman 3-pack, and if I remember, I'll, I'll put a link to that video. But uh, anyways... It's kind of neat to see these two. Take a look back at these because nowadays they're so fine. You see when it first came out, this part right here opens up. I had one here sitting there. I must have left it in the house. Uh, this part right here opens up. Well, this one has been uh, retooled. And so now it's just a, a unibody. There is no opening feature. And Fandango is in a uh, new five pack. One of the uh, wall tracks five packs. I forget which one and it has a plastic body now this is when it had the metal body so for your logo for you guys who like to collect the logo cars you're going to want to look for this fan dangle it was only available in a three pack and as you can see no collector number so uh, that was a bunch of extra stuff for my uh, rodzilla 2012 special gear of the dragon edition Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.